Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you a math interactive notebook for preschoolers ages 3 to 4 years old. Interactive notebooking is an excellent way to teach young children because it is hands-on, it's interactive, and children are cutting, they're pasting, they're coloring, and they have so much fun doing it. So today I'm going to go ahead and show you a preschool math notebook. So for this project, you're going to need a composition book here. And this is the best ones I recommend because they are very durable and pages do not fall out very easily. So let's get started here. Okay, so this math interactive notebook is going to cover numbers zero through 10, number quantity, number recognition, basic shapes, and basic skills concepts that are needed to be learned for kindergarten. So each lesson has three activities. And if you divide it into the year, you will be able to have uh, work for about 30 weeks. Um, so the way that I do it is I do one lesson a week. And so the one lesson a week includes one number, one shape, and one basic skills concept. So let's go over it. So it goes over one number. So it starts off with zero. The child would cut and paste here. Um, they would trace the number zero, then write the zero here if they can. If they can't, they just trace here. Here is a block where they would place stickers to represent the number quantity, or they can color it in. But I find that kids really love um, putting stickers in their notebooks. Down here, they would find the number and they have used different fonts so that the child really has to look closely. I have also included numbers that are very similar so that the child really has to look closely, like for example, the nine and the zero or the eight and the zero. So they have to look closely to really be able to find the number and color it in. I do encourage children to stay within the lines um, as they color. But as you know, when children are very young, it's something that takes time to develop. Um, the next part of the lesson is the shape. So we cover one shape a week and here's the circle and I have different objects that are shaped like a circle. The child would trace, connect, and draw if they can if they still cannot draw they can just work on these two for now um, then it includes one basic skills concept as well for the week this one is time to the hour um, the shorthand shows the hour on a clock where is the shorthand pointing to that is one way that I like teaching kids about time um, time to the hour where is the shorthand pointing to and so then the child would um, color in and paste the correct hour. They would look for the shorthand pointing to, where the shorthand is pointing to is five, five o'clock, and they would put um, cut and paste of five. And so they would go on and on, cutting and pasting, and putting the right time for each of these clocks. So then on the next week, then we do another number. So we'll cover num number one, for example. So trace the one, here's the one, place one sticker for the one, find the one here by coloring it in. Going on to the shape of the week, here are the different items that look like a square. Trace the square, connect the square, draw the square if possible. Here's the basic skills concept of the week. This was going to be covering uh, small, medium, and large. So the child would cut and paste small, medium, and large. These are different pictures that are different sizes and the child would color and paste them in the correct spots. Moving on to the next week, then we'll go over the number two. Again, trace the two, write the two if possible, put two stickers for two, and you can find stickers at the Dollar Tree or your local supply stores. Um, here we have find the number two. The triangle is for this week, so they would find, we'll talk about the shapes as well. Where do you see a triangle in this picture? Right here. What about here? The pizza is shaped like a triangle. We talk about the different shapes that we can find in these um, objects. Trace the shape, connect the shape, and draw the shape if possible. The basic skills concept of the week would be relating shapes to real objects. So they would cut and paste, we'll go over the cone, the sphere, the cube, and they would cut and paste the pictures that are the same shape as the objects here. Moving on, the next 
the number three. Again, trace the three, write the three, three stickers. Um, they would uh, color in the three by finding it there. The shape of the week would be the rectangle and go over the different um, vocabulary words as well. Door, suitcase, laptop. Talk about how they uh, are rectangles. Trace, connect, draw. Here we have the basic skills concept of the week and this would be coin sorting and a child would sort the coins by cutting and pasting the coins and putting them on top and sort of like a matching activity as well. And so the child is learning about coins and as you can see these are uh, real images of coins so that when the child sees these coins in real life they're able to identify them. Next number is four. And so you get the gist of how this works. Put the stickers, find the number. This is really fun. Kids love doing this. Um, they, my children look forward to doing this every day. They are so in love with interactive notebooking. This is the diamond, the, the, uh, the shape of the week. And then this is counting. So they would count and place the number. Count and place the number. So they would cut and paste the number. And now with cutting. If you have a three-year-old who's new at cutting, you want to hold the paper for them and teach them open, close, open, close. Um, so if you already have a four-year-old, they should be able to cut these things. Um, here's five. Place the stickers. Find the number. The shape of the week is oval. Then here's another fun activity. Here is drawing number quantity, so draw four spiders, and then the child would draw four spiders. Draw three snakes. Draw two dogs. Draw one person. And so you got, you got the idea. It's one number, one shape, and one basic skills concept a week. And um, my three-year-old has been absolutely loving it. She begs me for this every single day. This is an excellent way to keep preschoolers busy while you work with your older children. Um, if you are a teacher, you can also use this in your classroom. If you are a stay-at-home mom and you want to supplement and help your child, you're doing preschool at home, this is an excellent way. Interactive notebooking is an excellent way to get children uh, ready for kindergarten. Another wonderful thing about interactive notebooks is that it's a wonderful keepsake. So you can save these for years to come and then show your child what they were doing in preschool. It's such a wonderful keepsake that you can pass on to them when they get older. Um, and it is very fun for kids to do. Okay, so the way that I organize it is that I place the worksheet that she is going to be working on for the day right here in the front of her notebook. And then... Um, I put this in her work box. Then, um, if you're doing three of these a week, um, you just place whatever the child is going to be working on for the day, and you place it in their notebook, um, and you have their scissors, their glue sticks, I recommend glue sticks, um, and you can extend this for a two week lesson so that it can last you longer throughout the year. Um, this is the, the shape of the week, and then the basic skills concept. And so I have shown you um, numbers 0 through 5, but this goes all the way up to 10, and it includes the shape and also the basic skills concept. Um, if you would like to get a hold of this principle, I will post a link on the description box below this video so that you can um, download it, and all you need is a composition notebook to get started. Um, I will also place a link on the description box of our uh, alphabet interactive notebook um, so kids can learn their letters, their letter sounds, letter recognition, um, and I'll post that in the description box as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more videos like this, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.